Hi, my name is Alba Rivas. I am a developer advocate at Salesforce and today I'm going to explain to you how to debug your Lightning Web Components just tests using an advanced configuration in Visual Studio Code. Here you have my contact details in case that you want to ask me anything later. So this is the third quick take of a series. In this series, I have explained three different approaches in which you can debug your Lightning Web Component test with the Salesforce extensions, with Chrome Developer Tools, and today with an advanced configuration in VS Code Debugger. If you haven't watched the other videos, I recommend you to take a look at them. As a reminder, when you debug a Lightning Web Component JS test, you will have to perform two different tasks. First, you will have to launch your application in debug mode. This is, you will have to run your test in debug mode. And second, you will need to attach a debugger. Today, we are going to see how to do that in VS Code and the debugger that we are going to use is the VS Code debugger. So let me go to VS Code. So here in VS Code, I have a project. This is exactly the same project that I have used for the other two quick takes. So I'm not going to explain the use case and I'm going to focus on explaining the configuration that you need to set up in Visual Studio Code. Here I'm running the application in debug mode. I'm running the application in debug mode because I want to show you something. When you do that, the command that is executed behind the scenes is this one here. Node inspect BRK just and run inbound. We are not going to run the application this way in this case, but we're going to create a configuration, a launch configuration to tell VS Code how to execute this command, how to execute our Lightning Web Components just test in the back. And for that, we are going to go to the Run and Debug tab. If it is the first time that you come here, you are going to see something like this, saying like that if you want to customize Run and Debug, you have to create a launch.json file. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to pick an arbitrary one because instead of using this configuration file that is recommended by VS Code, we are going to go into the help for the SFDX LWC Jest GitHub repo and we are going to copy the configuration that it's specified here. I'm copying this configuration because I'm a Mac user, but if you are a Windows user, you can copy the equivalent version for Windows from here too. So I'm going to replace this configuration by the one that I copied. And here we can observe a couple of things. First of all, the name for my configuration file is debug just test. Second, we are using Node and we are launching a command which is going to receive these arguments here. If we take a look at how we run our application using the package.json script, the uh, flags that we are using are exactly the same. We are telling VS Code that when using this configuration, this is the way in which we want to launch our JS test in debug mode. Something important is to understand that here we are using a launch configuration which in VS Code means that we are launching our application in debug mode and we want VS Code to attach a debugger. Another option would be to use an attach configuration, which is only the second step. It means that VS Code would attach a debugger to a running process that we need to run in a different way, right? So once we have created this, there is something else that we need to do. We need to create a just uh, config file. This is something that, again, you can copy from the help. And I already created mine. I think, okay, I don't have it open, but we can take a look. Here it is. This is my just configuration file. Nothing special. I just copied it from the documentation. 
And with that, we are ready to debug our Lightning Web Components with VS Code Debugger. When uh, debugging your components with VS Code Debugger, uh, you need to add debugger statements for Lightning Web Components. So I'm going to use a debugger statement here. I'm going to add another debugger statement here, for instance. And I'm going to add another debugger statement in my production code. You may be asking yourself why I'm not using breakpoints. I'm not using breakpoints because if you remember, the Lightning Web Components compiler adds a couple of statements to the final compile files. VS Code Debugger is not able to understand that the breakpoint that you are using here in line six matches to line whatever, line 12, line 15 in the final compile file. So there is a mismatch and you cannot use breakpoints for now. If you use the Salesforce extensions, this is not a problem because the Salesforce extensions are uh, creating a source map that fixes that problem. But if you use an advanced VS Code configuration, then you will have to use debugger statements, which is not that bad. It's just a workaround, right? So now I'm going to stop and clear this because I don't want to run the application in that way. I want to run the application using the advanced configuration that I have created. And uh, to uh, launch that advanced configuration, there are a couple of ways in which you can do it. But I like to go to the run and test tab and then select here the configuration that you want to use, debug just test in our case, and then click on uh, start debugging. Here, uh, I've started the configuration and VS Code is running the command that we specified in that configuration is also attaching a debugger. In this case, it's running all the tests because we haven't specified anything else, but that's something that you can control in your configuration file. And it's effectively stopping in all the debugger statements that we added into our test code and into our Lightning Web Component code. At this point, you can use all the debugging features that VS Code has, like inspecting the variables, using the debug console, and so on, and uh, find any issues that your Lightning Web component or your Lightning Web component test may have. As you have seen, this is probably the most complex way of debugging Lightning Web components from the three ones that we have seen but it's the one that gives you more, more flexibility because the launch.json file accepts multiple attributes and configuration parameters that give you full flexibility and control about how your application launches. To finalize, I want to recommend you some resources. The first one is a trailhead module in which you will learn everything about Lightning Web Components just testing. The second one is a link to our Salesforce extension pack for VS Code. And the third one is the GitHub repo for the SFDX LWC just library. Finally, I want to recommend you some ways in which you can connect with us. You can navigate to our developer site. You can connect with us on Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. And if you enjoyed the video, like it, subscribe to the channel, and click on the bell to receive notifications. Thank you so much, and hope to see you in the next quick day.